Hey you guys, welcome back for another Tricky Miss video. Today we are on Anime Battleground X. At least I believe that's the name of it. Not entirely sure, but anyways, I came across this game because I seen a few people were actually playing it. And we pretty much grinded out for maybe like a couple, couple hours last night. As you guys can tell, we are currently level 80. I know it's kind of hard to see, especially right there. Level 80 get 82,000 stars and if you guys don't know what the stars are for that is to summon in some uh, fighters. Now the objective of the game is that you want to pretty much be just attacking things just to be able to get XP. Now the XP bar is pretty small so you guys can actually see it pretty pretty close here wait a minute I'll just zoom in. So it's gonna be right above this HP bar right there. You'll see it for like an instant. Anytime whenever you hit something it'll automatically increase it. Now there are little arenas around in the area that you guys want to be trying to clear out. And the idea is whenever you guys enter into the arena, like right here, Tree Village Arena recommended level 0. Once you do this, you'll want to be able to go up to your fighters. Uh, just for this one, we're, we're just going to use uh, this guy, the purple guy. Uh, about Probably about that many should be enough to be able to take this instance out. But pretty much the stars is used to summon in your fighters. Now you guys can get gems to actually upgrade the fighters. Uh, if you guys go over, click on the fighters alone and then click on the actual fighters, they will actually tell you what the stats do. So we are going to be upgrading uh, the middle guy. Just see if it goes up in DPS or HP, but I'm pretty sure it goes up in health every single time whenever you guys end up increasing or upgrading it. Uh, so right there we went up about 17 point some. Actually, it's probably like 16 point something. I'm not entirely sure on the exact numbers, but you guys kind of get the idea. And now you guys can only get so many items from one area or from one arena, I guess. Uh, the arenas are kind of referring to these big old circles that you guys might see these arrows surrounding. But anyways, um, I'm pretty sure I collected everything in this area. I think the last one was the uh, wood dragon. But you guys can pretty much just kind of farm this up for XP if you want. Um, something I would suggest, especially if you guys are starting out, is just go around and destroy the structures that you guys see around the map. Try and level yourself up and get as many stars as possible, especially if you guys are doing this solo. Because doing it solo is so hard, especially when first starting out. Uh, being since I'm always in, like, in a private server and stuff, I've always had a go along with that issue of trying to do everything solo. Uh, but I would recommend probably going to a public server when first starting out the game. That way you guys get the most uh, experience and like a better uh, feel for it. But once you guys completely uh, like once you guys complete this instance, you guys will be able to have like a little spin wheel. But I'm pretty sure for me, I'm just going to get the cutscene and I don't think it's going to give me much of anything. Uh, I'm just going to quickly help my fighters uh, take out this guy super, super quick. Now I just got to go help them over here. And let's use one of our abilities. We got the Susano. It's going to do a lot of damage. 402. That's ridiculous. Uh, we can do some other abilities as well to try and deal out that damage. There we go. Let's use the Rasengan. And then we'll probably use another Susano. Because I'm pretty sure he is going to take out all of our fighters. Because he does AoE da like attacks back to back. And that's not a great sign for me. Uh, yeah, so he's definitely going to take him out 100%. But I'm pretty sure I can take him out for sure. Uh, just honestly, give me like a few seconds and he'll go down. There we go. Now we can find out, did I max out this game? Or this area? I definitely did because you usually get the spin wheel right away. Fortunately, I did not get any of that. So I would probably recommend maxing out every single area especially if you guys want to get all the fighters from the beginning uh, to know if you guys got all the fighters I'm pretty pretty sure you get this guy I'm I'm honestly not gonna try to announce the names just because I'm pretty bad at it but 
You got the green, you got two reds, a purple, and an orange from this. Now Jordan is the very beginning one that you guys get from the tutorial after you guys get done with it. Uh, they did come out with an update as well. It's for rebirthing, and they also gave you guys wings, if, as you guys can see right there. It's more for cosmetics, I believe. But then again, I really have no idea because I just started this game last night, so I'm not really that far into it. My next area that I'm going to be maxing out is this green area, the Ninja War Battlefield. It should be pretty good. Uh, if you guys go around and you guys actually see this blue chest, I would recommend breaking that. Mainly because if you guys break it, you guys get a bunch of gems. Like, super nice. Sorry, it's kind of going in and out. Right there, we got 22. Normally, you get anywhere from like 4 to maybe 6. Sometimes you guys get about 10, depending on if you guys hit the bonus. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, I actually find this to be quite like quite a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys actually have friends that play this game, it might be interesting to have your friends actually join you for doing some of these arenas. Uh, now we are just going to summon all these guys in. But more or less, I'm just going to continue to grind and hopefully we can come out with a video of us actually rebirthing. I think if I do rebirth, I might actually go with more XP gain. Probably max this out right away because to to be honest, I think that might be better. Not really sure. Or maybe the more gem drops. That actually might be really, really good. Especially for upgrading because assuming that it kind of resets everything. But anyways, thank you guys for checking out today's video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not. Like the video and comment down below. How far into the game have you guys gone? How many times have you guys actually rebirthed? And if you guys seen the wings yet, please let me know on how they look. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one and have a great rest of your day. See ya.